All right, so here we go. Yes, we've got some very interesting things happening at CD Projekt Red today. We're going to talk about how this is going to be influencing Cyberpunk's immediate future, more specifically the expansions. And yes, it seems like it is very good news for Cyberpunk. Now, we're also going to be talking about the CD Projekt Red job listings. Those have changed very recently, and I'm curious as to what is going on with that so we'll talk about that as well as some other cyberpunk news but first we've got to take a look at this one right here this comes from cd project red and the witcher official twitter account it says we have decided to have our in-house development team conduct the remaining work on the next gen version of the witcher 3 wild hunt we are currently evaluating the scope of work to be done and thus have to postpone quarter two release until further notice they do go on to say thank you for your understanding with this they're going to give us updates in the future now this is very interesting because they're, they're going to be having the core team at cd project red the people that are very familiar with the witcher 3 get this job done for the next gen version of the witcher 3 now what we do know is that we don't have a release date whatsoever this has been delayed somewhat indefinitely i guess you would say and what does that mean for cyberpunk 2077 so i think this is great news for cyberpunk 2077 because i'm assuming right now they are postponing work on the witcher 3 wild hunt next gen version and wholeheartedly as a team focusing on the first big expansion for cyberpunk 2077 they cannot get that wrong and i cannot stand when development studios go in every single imaginable direction i really think it crushes a studio and can actually close studios so i think it's very wise of them to slow down here focus on what people are really really asking for and i think primarily people want the expansion for cyberpunk 2077 so i think this is great news for cyberpunk and of course once they get this expansion out of the way they will work on expansion number two but they're going to get the work done on the witcher 3 uh wild hunt next gen version so i think that is what is going on and you know a lot of people are also kind of worried you know once again you have this right here they're working on the witcher 4 uh they're going to be and of course this witcher 3 next gen version and people are saying hey what about my cyberpunk <laughs> You know, I love Night City. I want to see more stuff going on with this. So I think that they are really reassessing the situation and going, yeah, we got to get this expansion right. We really want to nail this down and focus on that first and foremost, instead of going every single direction. Now, this is interesting right here. The job listing page for Cyberpunk, specifically CD Projekt Red Vancouver, has changed. Check this out right here. So, of course, we have camera programmer in there still. Now, a lot of you guys may not know about this but they're looking for a third person camera programmer for cyberpunk but look it's been updated for both the witcher and cyberpunk and you can see this has all been updated for the witcher series and cyberpunk and we scroll down here we have multiplayer programmer not just for cyberpunk anymore but for the witcher franchise as well so it looks like they want uh to of course do that parallel development between studios and more specifically between games so the witcher series and cyberpunk should get similar features so i'm curious to see if they're updating perhaps the witcher 3 wild hunt camera alongside whatever they potentially could be doing with the cyberpunk third person view uh, so that's a theory right there but overall i think the delay with the witcher 3 wild hunt next gen version is because they want to wholeheartedly focus on what they're doing with cyberpunk expansion but you know we keep hearing this right here this article interests me it comes from forbes it says why old cyberpunk reveals keep turning into news and it goes on to say this it says yesterday i was treated with a whole bunch of different cyberpunk alerts in my news feed that all read similarly cyberpunk director confirms expansions are still coming and you know we already know this we've known this for quite some time it's just that people want that re reconfirmation i guess you would say and any type of news from CD Projekt Red. I know I'm dying for any type of news regarding the big expansion coming up here for sure. Uh, but yeah, it would be nice to have something fresh, brand new. And if you guys are wondering, we are going to be getting a new earnings call for CD Projekt Red here in a matter of days. I'm crossing my fingers that we get something brand, brand new about Cyberpunk 2077. We'll see. 
don't hold your breath, but I will have you guys covered about any upcoming news about the expansion, things like that. But it goes on to say this right here. It says, I think this is representative of a larger undercurrent with Cyberpunk and that those who have played the game really want more reasons to return to Night City. I know I'm one of them. This hell, I've been looking for those reasons for over a year now as I have three characters across two platforms, but unfortunately, all the updates so far have mostly been log in and get this new jacket gun car with not that much to actually do in the game other than take photos well there's going to be good news here check this out right here it says the expansion should be the first time that changes which is why everyone is so desperate for info about it cd product red has been keeping development close to its chest and we do not have a teaser a topic a date really anything about the dlc that we know other than it exists and it's being worked on this is likely to be a paid dlc not a free update similar to what we saw with the witcher 3's dlc both of which were released by now in this point in that game's life cycle unbelievable this says we know that after this cd project red will be working on the witcher 4 or whatever it will be called in unreal engine 5 but what's not clear is when they will fully let go of cyberpunk 2077 yeah i really hope they stick with it you know they're going on a hiring spree right now so honestly my hope is they stay with cyberpunk to the very end up until the release of the witcher 4 i really really wish they could do that that would mean in my opinion they could bring us even more expansions than the two that are promised for this game so god crossing my fingers they could pull something off like that but you never know then we have this i'm telling you with an install base of close to 20 million at this point this is not something they're going to want to let go of right away whether that means selling paid dlc for existing copies or implementing some sort of gta online light multiplayer where perhaps they earn money from microtransactions oh that worries me this says despite cyberpunk's launch issues one of those issues was not sales and there is clearly interest in new content for the game hence where we are today hopefully we get something concrete soon and not just more offhand stream comments all right so here's my question for you all Let's say they get through the two big expansions that do release. We're done with that. Would you want to see a third big single player expansion? Or do you want them to go into something like GTA Online for Cyberpunk? A Cyberpunk Online world. What would you guys like to see? Honestly, I just love more single player stuff. But hey, I know there's a group out there that does want to see some sort of online. If they do online, I want it co-op centric. I'm going to say that. I want it to be like revolving around heist that sort of thing i think that would be really really cool oh now someone also posted this if you're really curious it says how to get to the spaceport and see a rocket take off you post this video right here i'll leave that in the description below it shows how you can hop over this wall get in there and wait for the uh, rocket to take off and witness that at nighttime it's really really cool if you want to do that for yourself uh see the links in the description below now, also, I wanted to talk about something that I really haven't talked about too much about Cyberpunk, and that is, will we see flying in the game? Is it possible that we could see this? Does this engine also support that? So this is an interesting take right here. We have this one. It says flying on trauma team AV bug on PC. No mods. This AV normally flies off when you enter the combat area, but because of some bug, bug, it stayed there. So I managed to find a trigger and get on the AV and fly. He has a video. Once again, I'm going to link that uh, for you all. But to me, this video proves that it's possible that this engine can handle flying vehicles, especially uh, with how the world streams. So that's what that video really does showcase in my mind. It's cool to see and to know that, yes, this engine is in fact powerful enough to handle that sort of thing. So I do hope that we do see, see some sort of flying vehicles that are controllable by the player in the future. I just think it would be really, really cool to see. All right, so now it is time to go over your top comments. Remember, leave a top comment down below. It can end up in a future video. So let's do this. My most recent video was this one right here. Official new updates from CD Projekt Red. Far from finished with the game. You know, we had a quote here from Hal Sasko the quest designer on cyberpunk saying that they are far from finished with this game they're going to be sticking with it and yes expansions are in the works right now let's see how you guys took this one by the way i have a pinned comment here check out my starfield coverage if you have not seen it guys 
pay attention when I start posting star filled videos. That's all I'm going to say. You're going to want to pay attention. Then we have Mr. X who says this car customization street races, E3 clothes or V, the option to hang out with other characters and a storyline set after the events of the star ending. That's what I would like to see. So a lot of people want to see uh, something after that star ending. Then we have Muffin Man 392 who says, I want more missions to do with storyline. I also want to see a drug component in the game. I'm prevalent in, it's prevalent, excuse me, in the lore. So it makes sense to have them maybe even add an addiction mechanic in some form. That would be interesting to see. And you know what else is prevalent in the story and the game? Mango farming. <laughs> we have Aunt Xe says this, the third person nano drone concept is a fantastic idea. I was never really that bothered about a third person camera, but that idea makes me excited for it. I personally would love to see a third person camera angle in this game. My God. Now, if they did a third person camera angle, I'm curious to see if they would have to also update the move set. You know, they do have the sliding. So I think that would be really cool to see in third person. And yeah, they've been kind of tinkering around with some of the par parkour mechanics. So if they do a third person perspective, I would like for them to also update some of the parkour stuff alongside with it. Then we have Reckless who says this, we'd love to see more explorable interiors with true purposes and random events or events that bring more life to the city. Absolutely. Shoddy says this, imagine a no man's sky turnaround for cyberpunk. That would just be spectacular. A man can dream. Yes, perhaps someday our dreams will become a reality. Then we have this one. Pegasphere who says, I want them to add a nice customizable garage where you can see all the vehicles you've purchased, exception being the ones you're driving, of course. It would be a really great feature considering the fact that cars are such a big deal in Cyberpunk. Also, it would offer an explanation as to where they've been summoned from in the game. Yeah, you know, I have my own personal opinion about the cars in this game, and I think they should go all in with car customization, what you said with the garage, they need to have way more with racing. They need to have two styles of racing where it's like legit racing and then like street racing with weapons and things like that. They can tap into that so much. I just think they should go all in with the cars as well as the weapons right now when it comes to free DLC outside of the expansions. But that's just my personal opinion. Let me know if you guys agree with that one or not. But there it is. Latest happenings around Cyberpunk 2077. And yeah, we talked a little bit about what's going on with the Witcher 3 next gen update, but I'm excited for all of it. I hope they nail down it all and the team doesn't feel too much crunch. It seems like to me that's what they're trying to avoid right now. And it seems like they're wisely focusing on what's really, really important to the core community for CD Projekt Red. But anyway, there it is. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more and I will see you all next time. Take care.